First Lady Jill Biden is visiting Kentucky today, where she's surveying recovery efforts following last month's devastating tornado outbreak. The severe weather killed 77 people and injured dozens of others. Hundreds of homes and businesses were destroyed, and the cost of the damage is still being assessed. This week, Governor Andy Bashir signed a $200 million relief bill that's expected to help repair schools and provide aid to people who lost their homes. Lawmakers also recently extended the state of emergency through mid-April, paving the way for more federal assistance. For more on this, I want to bring in former FEMA Administrator Craig Fugate. Thank you for joining us. Uh, these communities, uh, Craig, uh, they're still reeling from these tornadoes. H how is the First Lady's visit to Kentucky today designed to really give people a boost? Well, the first thing is to remind people we haven't forgot about them. You know, the tendency of these disasters, they get a lot of attention the first day, the first <clears> weeks, <throat> but then the month later, people tend to forget, and it takes years to recover. So it's an important message that the First Lady's going to remind people we haven't forgotten them. And it's also a reminder that the federal government's going to be there for years helping these communities rebuild. President Biden promised the uh, federal government would also cover 100 percent, 100 percent of cost in the first month. That month is now passed. What's the federal government and specifically FEMA doing at this point to meet the needs of the affected communities? Well, part of that 100% was to pay for things like emergency response costs and debris. And most of those costs are taken care of in that first month. Uh, right now, most of the assistance is providing temporary housing <clears throat> assistance, I mean, getting people a place to live while they you know, while they look at what's going to you know happen, you know, who had insurance, who didn't. Um, and a real big challenge that everybody's going to face, and this is why the president commits to full federal family to this, because FEMA doesn't have all the answers, is going to be affordable housing, uh, particularly for renters, as these communities rebuild. Potentially, what hurdles uh, do these communities face in, like, Mayfield and Bowling Green? Well, the, the big issue is going to be how much of this was not insured. Uh, if you got insurance, that tends to speed up recovery, and in tornadoes, hopefully, we do see more insurance for homeowners. Uh, but it's also this uh, problem of renters, uh, affordable housing, people who didn't have enough insurance who may not be able to rebuild, and that can slow down recovery. And all of this has to take place on the background of getting essential services back up and running, uh, trying to get businesses back up and running. Uh, and, and again, we're seeing a lot of winter storms coming through this area. So it's not like this is one thing that's occurred and it's over. Uh, they're still having you know, extreme weather events occurring while they're trying to recover from those tornadoes. I know a lot of people forget about that. It, the, the, the really severe weather continues and we're, as we're seeing it in the Northeast and all across the country, more is to come. Craig Fugate, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.